For the first time since records have been kept, singles now make up the majority of adults, those are 16 and older. Now, this is a major milestone for the U.S., especially if you consider that World War II economic expansion revolved around the nuclear family, and singles are now shaking up that model of the two-parent, two-child household. CCTV's Rosa Kazan has more. Sean Murphy runs his own video production company, teaches at a local university, and enjoys scuba diving. At age 42, he has never been married and doesn't plan to marry in the near future. I can't think of exactly what being married would bring to my life that would be beneficial that I don't have already. Sean is now in the majority. For the first time, singles make up more than half of adults in the United States. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, nearly 125 million Americans were unmarried in August. That's 50.2 percent of those 16 and older. In 1976, unmarried made up 37.4 percent. I've also gone up from 22.8. Jim Stenhauser has been organizing singles events for almost two decades. He blames the rising number of singles on social media. In the past, the biggest area pizzas, parties, church, social groups, more and more now it's just becoming uh, connected to the internet. So it's less face-to-face -face communication, it's much less personal. He also blames the economic downturn of 2008. A lot more people stayed home, watched TV, and that also contributed to a lot of them doing things over the internet because they didn't have to drive somewhere, they didn't have to pay for gas. I wasn't 100% sure on this match because... Self-described Chicago matchmaker Steph Safran says fears over job security are what's turning America into a nation of singles. People are living at home longer than they used to. Um, people are not as comfortable with where they are professionally um, in their 20s. They used to be much more comfortable and think that they would be at jobs longer. Marketing experts say having so many singles may not be such a bad thing. Simply put, they may have more money to spend. For marketers, that's especially attractive because they're going to be more, um, in some cases, liberal with their spending because they don't have a lot of um, you know, they're not planning saving for college or future generations or um, supplying for a household. That's certainly the case for Sean, who says he enjoys his financial freedom. If I want to go on a trip to the Caribbean, if I have the money in the bank, I go on a trip to the Caribbean. It allows you to buy more toys. Rosa Kazan, CCTV, Chicago.